Hey YouTube, it's Dubop here, bringing you another video Saturday morning about my aquarium. Um, last time, if you remember, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. I had an outbreak of blue-green algae or cyanobacteria, however you pronounce it, on the bottom. Since then, I told you I had a method to treat that using hydrogen peroxide. And since then, I've already I've tested it out and it's worked. I used to have a little clump right here of the blue-green algae that just disappeared. You can still see it in the back and still see it in other areas of the tank. Um, they only recommend hydrogen peroxide as a spot treatment, but it's been working so well. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to show you all. I've already turned off my uh, air pump, uh, my mechanical or bi and biological filter. It's still going, so I'm going to go up here. I'm going to unplug that. That way it doesn't disturb the hydrogen peroxide that settles on the bottom. So there, that's off. Everything is off. So right here I have it all set up already. I have a 3% solution of hydrogen peroxide. You'll normally find it in 3 or 35. Don't use the 35. It's too concentrated. Um, worst case scenario, if that's all you can find is the 35, then you're going to need to water it down. But um, real quick, uh, the reason you use hydrogen peroxide is it breaks down um, into hydrogen, or excuse me, into water and oxygen inside the tank. And to find out all the nitty gritty details about that, I suggest you go to uh, the aquarium wiki and you search for hydrogen peroxide it'll tell you everything you need to know about the concentrations the drawbacks and the benefits but the what what we're going to be using is this uh, syringe needleless syringe it's already been filled with 10 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide and what we're going to do is we're going to stick it into the tank over the areas infected with the cyanobacteria and then we're just going to kind of spray it and what's going to happen is the hydrogen peroxide is going to start breaking down into as I said the water and the oxygen and the, it's going to be a heavy concentration of oxygen from uh, during the breakdown process that's going to kill the cyanobacteria because they can't stand it. And I'm going to go also and mention lighting if you've tried the blackout, you, it, it didn't work for me. I did a three, four day blackout and the cyanobacteria was still there and it was still progressing. But I've limited my lighting to only three hour increments twice a day for a total of six hours spaced out. And um, anyways, so we're going to treat my cyanobacteria today. Um, a good target spot I think is going to be in this corner. If you can see it right there, the greenish next to the little uh, bubble. I'm going to go ahead and drop this in there okay let me get up close and right now I'm already discharging the hydrogen peroxide from the syringe it'll be hard to see but I'll get y'all a better view after I get this done all over the affected area and that about does it. Alright, that was 10 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide right there. And right now you're not going to be able to see it very well, but in about five minutes you'll start to see a lot of bubbles forming on top of the the sand, which will then start bubbling up and out. And that's the treatment for using hydrogen peroxide. Other than that, my tank is doing quite well. The three remaining zebra damios are doing good. They're always playful. I put some of the java moss I had, kind of tucked it into some corners and crevices right there. Um, this has been doing exceptionally well. This one that I left on the bottom, it's brownish and deadish looking. Um, that's kind of how it arrived. It was packed into a 2 by 2 inch plastic bag you just stuffed in there and most of it was dead. So I was hoping it would bounce back. If you remember last video, I was talking about the propagation if you can see right there, it's been growing great. No issues whatsoever. The small one right here, it's even growing. And the additional uh, cutting from the original, it's been growing fine. You can tell from the itty bitty leaves, the color and whatnot, it is progressing. So that's good. Um, without my plecotomus, the brown algae has returned a little bit, but it's not a big deal. I'll be replacing that plecotomus or putting another one back in there. Anyways, I'm going to do a follow-up video probably today 
where I can show y'all. There's the bubbles. You can start seeing. You can see them now. You see the bubbles? That's all coming from the hydrogen peroxide breaking now. You can just barely see them with this camera, but you can see them, I think. Anyways, it doesn't take days for this treatment to work. In fact, 24 hours from now, all that green, blue-green algae cyanobacteria that we just treated will disappear. And I'll do a follow-up video on that and show you how well it worked. And um, stay tuned for that, YouTube. And please comment. Give me any advice you can about cyanobacteria. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And uh, any questions or comments, you know, feel free to leave them. And I'll see you all later.